Hello friends, in this particular session, we will learn polymorphism in C sharp. First of all, I will explain what is polymorphism. Polymorphism means to have more than one form. We, uh, there are two types of polymorphism. Uh, the one is compile time polymorphism and second one is runtime polymorphism. Now, uh, we can say compile time polymorphism as a method overloading or a early binding or a static binding. And we can say runtime polymorphism as method overriding, a late binding, or a dynamic binding. Clear? Uh, in this uh, video tutorial series, we will learn uh, these two types of polymorphism with the help of a practical example. And then uh, we will check out the difference between method overloading and method overriding. And uh, we will also uh, check out uh, that how to achieve a uh, compile time polymorphism and how to achieve a runtime polymorphism in brief clear and now let's check out an uh, example first we will see an example of method overloading uh, for that i have created one class that name is program and i have created three method with the same name that is movie movie and movie but the thing is that the parameters are different in the first method of movie, there is no parameter. In second method movie, there are two parameters. First one is hero and second one is heroine. And in the third uh, method movie, we have I have created uh, three parameters. That is movie, hero and heroine. Clear? Uh, now, I will explain what is method overloading. Method overloading means within the same class. A same method name with different parameters. It is called method overloading. Clear? Uh, in program class, movie is a method name, but its parameters are different. Means uh, the first method does not have any parameter, second one has two parameters, and third one has three parameters. So, uh, this is an example of method overloading. We can call it as a method overloading. Clear? Now, uh, if I uh, uh, if I created an object of a class uh, program object program uh, then I have called this method movie it will execute the first method this will execute a first method clear now if I call movie with the two parameter it will execute a second method clear now if I uh, call a method movie with three parameter it will execute a third method clear now I, now I will run this code uh, so you can get, get a better idea of the output. Let's run. Sorry. You can see the output. The first call is called movie, that is Bajrao Mastani. The second output is hero is this one and heroine is this. And the third output is movie is this, hero is this one and heroine is this one. Clear? So you you have get an idea of method overloading. Uh, if you have any doubt about it, you can mail me. Clear? Now we will check out the method overriding. For that, I have created another solution for it. For method overriding, uh, in method overriding, there is a one difference between method overloading and writing. In method overloading, there are the same method name but with different parameters, and it is in the same class. But in the case of method overriding, uh, the method name should be same, and parameter name are also same, but the class are different. Clear? To understand, to, for a better understanding of method overriding, I have created. Uh, two class first one is movie mania and second one is movie info in both class i have created a same method named movie clear movie name is ff6 movie name is ff7 clear now we will understand method what is method overheading now i will inherit movie in, movie mania from class movie info for that i will write here movie mania so now, now let's create an object of class movie info is equal to new movie info. Now, I will call a method movie. Now, let's build a code. What will happen? 
you can see this error. This is runtime error. Like inconsistent accessibility, base class method overloading, movie mania is less accessible than method overriding dot movie info. Clear? This error tells us that this is a method overriding. Like compiler is confused which movie method I have to execute because I have inherited um, movie mania class from movie info. So the compiler is confused that uh, which movie method I have to execute. Whether I have to execute a method of uh, class movie mania or whether I have to ex execute a method of class movie info. Clear? So this is called method overriding clear uh, to achieve method overriding how to achieve runtime polymorphism we will discuss it in our next video uh, we can uh, there are various methods like abstract class or virtual keyword or uh, override method or uh, whether via in, uh, interfaces we will discuss all of these things in our next video tutorial series clear now uh, to remove this error what i have to do i will remove this inheritance from this class I will remove inheritance now I will call a class so it will the error will be gone and it will call a method of class movie info clear rebuild success okay now uh, let's see a brief overview of it what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding in method overloading the method name is same parameters are different and they are in the same class but in the case of method overriding method name are same and its parameter names are also same uh, but they are in a different class clear uh, we had seen this with the help of example uh, i have uh, shown you two of the solutions of method overloading and method overriding how to practically perform it clear now how to achieve method overriding or a runtime polymorphism uh, we will discuss it, discuss it uh, in the next video but uh, just we, I, I will give a small idea about it we can achieve it using the abstract class virtual or override keyword and via interfaces clear uh, now if you have any doubt about uh, this method overloading or overriding uh, or if you want to uh, know more about it or want to more briefly uh, want to learn about it uh, you, or you have any query about it you can mail me at throvinsha16 at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much